Hey YouTube, I have uh, was messing around with Google Earth today and I I noticed something. Now, I don't know if this is a cheap camera, so I'm going to try to point at it. Right here it shows seismic activity. These little orange dots are seismic activity on Google Earth. You can you can get it on your Google Earth by uh, expanding the gallery and clicking on earthquakes. Now if you zoom in too far it shows you a history of you know just earthquakes from back, way back but when you zoom out it shows more recent ones. And I've been noticing these here around Tennessee and especially around the Madrid Fault even over here in Oklahoma and up here at Yellowstone. Of course Yellowstone's you know active all the time anyway. But when you when you click on one of these, let's see if I can get it to come up here. When you click on one, it tells you what it was. This small earthquakes. January 17th, there's one. Uh, January 18th. There's two of them right there on Madrid, right out there in Madrid. Uh, January 20th and January 16th and even even over in Oklahoma Oklahoma's got one or two of them Oklahoma City had a mild earthquake on the 15th two of them on the 15th a 3.8 and a 4.0 now the news isn't covering these what I noticed in the times of these earthquakes up here and the aftershocks, you go to one of them here, January 15th, aftershock, i pick out another one, a 4.9, January 21st, there's another one on the 21st, the 20th, there's, there's one that correlates uh, almost identically to the one up here on the Madrid Fault. Anyway, there, there's just lots of little earthquakes right here. Uh, they're calling them aftershocks that they're having that are real close to the same time as these up here on the Madrid Fault. Uh, now, this is the first time I've ever noticed this. Of course, California's really acting up. California's been having lots of little tiny earthquakes. Uh, and that's within the last, you know, couple of weeks. They've done this within the last week since since that big one down there in Haiti. There's been a lot of little tiny earthquakes here and there, and the seismic activity has really ramped up over here. So, uh, does anybody out there uh, notice? Uh, is there something else, something uh, that's maybe stressing the Earth right now? Uh, I checked SolarWeather.com or. Or space weather, that's it, space weather. I didn't see nothing out of the ordinary there. Uh, they had some medium-sized flares. But, um, I don't know. I don't know if this has any meaning. That this way down here would be uh, causing a lot of new activity up here on that Madrid fault. I didn't know, never notice Oklahoma to be on a fault, but they've got, had a few there. Uh, and, of course, California always has a bunch, but right here during the same t time frame, that's what I'm getting at, is right during that same time frame as the aftershocks and the Haiti earthquake, there's getting just lots of little tremors all the way up and down through here. All the way up and down through California. I mean, problem with these uh, Google Earth on California is it's, um, how would you say, there's so many, it, it goes back in history all the way to the 1950s. So it's kind of hard. I wish Google would uh, would make this map where you could sort it out by date, sort this seismic activity out by date. Uh, it seems like it only uh, shows at a far, far enough away zoom, it shows the uh, more recent stuff here. Like there, there's two there, and these are very little minor ones down here uh, at the Alabama border. There was a little here, 1.1 in eastern Tennessee. Not much, but the timing, the timing of this 
is correlating with this stuff over here in Haiti. And, you know, I don't see the news agencies reporting anything about this. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there if anybody has any opinions. You can go to Google Earth and look it up for yourself. Uh, might be a fun thing to do anyway. Just another reason to be prepared for those emergencies.